first test drive with the Ariel M3. I've put it on speed gear one so I don't fall on my face instantly. But it's going okay. Yeah, it's going pretty well. I want to go in two small steps. This is speed gear six. Holding up pretty good. The air wheel M3. I have put it on speed gear 15 now. Fast enough. Wouldn't want to go any faster. Yet. Probably getting bored. After a while, you have to really watch out with braking. I'm putting the throttle on. Because if you put the throttle on too hard, it goes away under your feet. And if you brake too hard, you go away from it. So, 15. Acceleration is awesome. Brake, point. Bump coming up. Well, it didn't break though. I'm just giving you the remote. Now, I will break. So you have to really be careful with it. Otherwise, so you just go flying off. But that's all a part of getting to know the board. So I did about one kilometer in total now. Didn't film all of it. And this is gonna go. Tablet, only have two hands. You, yeah, you can't really power up the gas. Yeah, it's not really gas. So, yeah. so, you know, like, just check that out. There. You should actually put this down somewhere and drive around it. So you guys can see a little bit. So I put things flowing pretty hard. Yeah, but it fall break. But I'm just doing it now. Still having a little bit of trouble with the cornering, but I can get that under control somehow. And that somehow is by practice. Some one guy already came up to me and said, "You know those things are illegal." And I'm like, "Yeah." Well, it's not that I can do a lot of damage with it. I think they're only illegal because they can't make any money on it. But yeah. It is. Oh, it is. Or I can put it lower than 10 miles in setting. And then, uh, then they're supposed to be legal, right? And go fast. I think that's how the law works. Children's toys and stuff. Look at the view. Look at that amazing view. I'm just gonna not bump off the curb. Because I already destroyed it. 
previous skateboard was that. Battery just clapped right on the new front. Settings 57% speed and mileage. Rent four kilometers. So I can go by eight. Go by dirt roads. Yeah. Good to know. Nee, ja, een knopje naar voren. En dat is alles. Ja, en zorg dat je dat niet afvalt. Ja, dan is het wel duidelijk. Ja. Je moet wel evenwichtskunstenaar zijn. Ja, de, een beetje. Een beetje. Ik heb hem sinds vandaag, dus ik ben nog aan het oefenen. Ik heb Klaas gekregen. Ja, inderdaad. Zomaar in de schoorsteen geworpen. Oh. Wat zal ik doen? Dank je wel. Get a conversation going. Just hop on this thing. Start to hook while people start talking to you. 
pretty much. I'm not even really a fan of that though, but that's one of the benefits I think. See that after I uh, it's done. Yes. Okay. What I'm doing now is not the best idea. Don't do this at home for yourself. But you can see the speed limit now. So you can see how far fast we're going. And say I'm at 9 kilometers now. I checked it on the app and the battery was almost there. When I get forward power now, it goes to 0%. Yeah, so I think it's almost empty. Well, I don't think so. I know so, actually. Yeah, pretty much. That's not the 20 kilometers that were promised to me. Yeah, it's a big bummer. Yeah, and it doesn't go 20 kilometers per hour either. This is also a big bummer. So, the packaging, what it states, is all not true. It's, uh, that sucks. Quite. What I see here, this battery is at 7% and the speed has been slowed down so much, can't even get up the hill anymore, have to walk. And the mileage is almost 8 kilometers. Uh, I mean almost 10 kilometers. 10. Yeah. I'm cold, I'm going home. So I had to carry this thing home for a while and I can tell you it's not a lot of fun to carry it around the specs look great on paper but in reality it doesn't go as fast as they say it doesn't go as long as they say and it doesn't go in all the terrain the way it looks that it should well yeah, I must say I'm still an awesome device, but I expected more from the specifics that they stated on paper. The Airwheel M3. Yeah. There you go. The Airwheel M3. Now, let's say 9.49 kilometers. Well, you can actually say 9.7 because the other one's last miles didn't go very well. Last kilometer, I mean. So, and the driving time better is at 2%.
runtime. Oh god. I to consider the runtime anymore. Runtime. Runtime. Well, let's just say 52, 55 minutes. That was the last I saw when I checked. Yes. So, the next thing to check is will it charge in an hour, as they claim? Let's find out. You know, that's actually really sad. That it says one hour to charge and it's only charged like 55% now. After an hour, full hour. Got this timing, got my watch timing. It says one hour and two minutes already now, but I unplugged it at one hour straight. So they lie. About everything, like. Half the distance, <laughs> not the full speed, double charging times, man, that's messed up. It's a cool machine, but please, God, be honest about its specs. Hey guys, we just saw the light go on green, and as you can see, it's been three hours and nine minutes in so far. Uh, it was still on red after 2 hours and 54 minutes and as we can see it should be now at 100% and it was at 95 at 2 hours and 54 minutes so and oh it still says 95% 96 95 well let's disconnect this and see what happens maybe it doesn't go further than that that's strange Let's check it out. What happens if I put it on forward a little bit? No, well, 95 is the max apparently. But yeah, that took three hours. And not the uh, one hour uh, they promised on the website in the specifications. So then you know, guys, what you're buying here is a skateboard motorized that can go about 10 kilometers. If you go full speed or at least work up towards full speed and that can go on grass and sand not loose sand and that has a top speed of about 18 and a half kilometers per hour if you're weighing 65 kilograms so that's the real statistic and it takes about three hours to charge from an empty battery and you get to 55% when it's one hour charge there you go okay guys as you can see the lights turned green now I just unplugged it it's been three hours and seven minutes still turned green and it was still red at two hours and 54 minutes and that was 95% and if we connect the app we can see that it doesn't reach the full 100% it stays at uh, 95% and if I speed up now well, you can see that well so if you buy this product don't believe the specifications that they tell on the website um, because the real specifications are about 10 kilometers action, action radius and you can go about eight and a half kilometers an hour if you weigh like 65 kilograms and the charging time from full uh from empty to almost full like 95 percent because that's when it stops is about three hours and you get to 55 percent in one hour of charging it's a cool device can go off-road but not in too loose end and um yeah that's about it for the airwheel m3